welcome to today's tutorial on Introduction to Wax Scripting for Joint Operations Typhoon Rising Lesson 1 Part 1 What is a WAC file? Answer! A WAC file is a file that contains a command, scripts written with any text editor and saved with the file extension .wac. When used in the right context, a WAC file can expand a mapmaker's ability to control the action of the game's AI. These control commands also extend to vehicles, environment and the AI. Hmm. Ooh. A million respawning bots. Yes, I can put them all in the map with this scripting. Mm, you could, but recommend you don't. Drives people nuts. Wax scripting, for the most part, uses nestable if, then, else, and if, which is basically Boolean true or false logic. Boolean logic is a form of algebra in which all values are reduced to either a true or false. 0 or 1. Go nuts. Whack language commands. Well, we've already discussed it's an estimable flow control if, then, else, end if. It's Boolean logic and or XOR. The actual syntax uh, parens are optional, line returns and tabbing is optional. So it's really just if trigger one, parameters and trigger two. What the? Okay, yep. Bit confusing perhaps. Dark arts magic? No. Here's an example. Output the text hello world in game to the console position on screen if past bracket 10 in bracket and never then console hello world and if the 10 being 10 seconds so now let's have a look at how we do it you can open up notepad and with notepad it's just a case of um, using a semicolon at the start of the column uh, start of your text if you want to put any comments into your WAC file and anything that comes after the semicolon um, won't be recognized on that line. So let's come back and we'll start afresh. So a semicolon, start of the WAC file, carriage return, put another semicolon just in case you wish to add additional comments later and if past 10 so 10 seconds 10 seconds have passed and it's never happened as an event before then console in other words output to the console the following and here is what we're saying hello world now, it's, the wording has to be in that format with inverted commas at the start and end and with an open and closed bracket. So it starts with a, with a closed bracket, uh, sorry, open bracket and ends with a close. Then it's just a case of end if. Put a semicolon in, another semicolon and end of WAC file. So, if past 10 and never, then console. So, we now go to save as, and just save your file as the same name as what the game is going to be, or the same game, mission map. In this case, we're using sample dash wac dot wac. We'll save that, and we notice that we're using the save as type as all files. So, I'm just going to quickly back into the mission editor, create a mission map, and we'll 
call a sample dash whack, same as what a whack file was. And I get a quick co op. Okay, and then I'm just going to export the file into the join ops directory. So it'll save and export with stats, that means a mission file will show up. We'll give it the same name, remember, WAC files and mission files have to be the same. So sample dash WAC, it's a mission file, save. Now we can open it up in JO. So we'll go back into the mission, have a look at training. We're scrolling down, selecting our sample WAC, loading it into the game, loading the game up. And you'll see after 10 seconds, we'll see a hello world appear top left of screen. Here it is. And it's Cheshire Cat is just my addition to it. No, you can't do that in game. <laughs> but hello world, top left of the screen is now appearing 10 seconds after the game starts. So very simple command very simple if statement. If it's never happened before, let's do it. We'll take a look at it one more time and we'll see that 10 seconds after the game has started, you will see the top left of the screen, Hello World will appear, exactly as we wrote it. And that's pretty much it for generating a very simple WAC code.